What's up guys, we got more SPL Trosco vs. Get this many apparently. Um Really got nice, really nice all team all dude. Really nice. Volturn with Crawdon, I love this style. Like I love Warbreakers like Crawdon. We saw Mega Manage him earlier, brought by um Who who brought Mega Manage him earlier? Nintendi, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm probably um, breathing a bit heavy because I just ran up the stairs to catch this. Wait, who else is playing? I think that's the only one, right? Okay, let's look at that's at get GTM Steam. Um, that's probably Zardex. That's like the that's like the standard balance you see. Farathon, Starmie, um. Clefable. Terrakion could be banded. I know he likes that set. The Landers could be Scarf unless it's unless it's like Spikes, Pharaoh, Rocks, Lando, Common I could be Common Clef. It could also be double lands Lando and Rocks Clef. But it could also be double hazard Pharaoh zone, but I don't think it's that common in Auris. There's like a suspect tour going on, so why did you not join the suspect tour with Padlop? Why are you laddering? Laddering is boring. You should join the tour. I mean, laddering is fun, but like when there's a tour. So, Trosco just U turns out. I assume that's like Scarf Lando. Um, maybe Tank Chomp. At least Rocks Chomp is what I would expect. Like, that U turn at 16. I don't think that's defensive Lando. So, yeah. Mm. GTM just gets up rocks, so that that already um, reveals that the Landers is not the rocker. So the Landers of the Terrakion will probably be double dance. Trosco is probably just gonna vote switch she predicting the clef. That's a nice play by GTM. Yeah, that's a really nice play. Going to Landers on the vault switch. Um are you gonna join uh, Petla or do I have to close the call? Because that's like a bit annoying if there's like no one. I'll just drop the call then. If they're not talking anyway. So this could obviously be Scarfland or since he already had rocks on something else. On the Pharaoh. So if I'm Trosco. I probably go to my own Lando, but then he takes rocks and if GTM U turn, GTM can pr GTM can U turn here. So if I'm Trosco, I might make a really aggressive play, at least on the ladder. Um, there's another game going on, the Thorn versus Destiny device, so I have to join that too. The Thorn brought stall. The scum is here. The scum is now. Destiny device. I wanted to play some enjoyable. SPL Simon Oyugams when I signed up anyway. <laughs> Good luck. Keeper Springs the standard cancer stall that hopefully will die out soon because Dougie is getting suspect tested. I mean if this is SD Marek, he is a nice breaker, but we will see. Um yeah, I hate this two games at once, I don't like it at all. Did he did he just U turn here? Oh he just earthquake, okay I get that did nothing. Is that a defensive land? Is that even a max attack land or that did fucking 5 to jump? Maybe it's a defensive land without rock, which would be a bit weird. I mean, that kind of confirms that it's a bulky guard shop for sure. Not kind of, that confirms it for sure. Would this be, um... Oh, he could have T-Wave there if he had T-Wave. If he predicted the Jirachi. So he should scout for fire but she for sure. Which he doesn't do. I guess it expected it to not be fire punch since there's already one's flames around. This probably has fire blast. But I would still scout it for fire punch probably. I mean what what you gonna what what would he have even scouted with? He could have gone star me honestly. But that's also by Trosco's Manectric play that was really clean. Okay, star me come out. He keeps going the landers on a vault switch, but I'm not even sure if this is Scarf Landers instead of clicking so little. Oh, wrong wrong thing. I wanted to click under the thorn battle. So I mean that that was like what the fuck? That was like a really high roll. Didn't the first earthquake did like 24 and this one did 37? 
So he is Scarf, he stays in predicting the U-turn from Trusco's side, nice play. Let me just see what happened in this one. He U-turns out on the Toxapex, pretty obvious stuff. Brought in the Landris, probably U-turn again, because he kind of let the Saber get rocks up. Oh, he just Earthquake predicting the Saber, that makes sense. As the up, so this is probably caught a little crush as the Thorn gets up a spike. Now we're gonna go back to the other one. I know some people don't like two games in one video, but I'm doing this now. I'm um, I want to bring you guys the games live. I already missed the Pokemon match and some others, which is really annoying. But yeah, I had I had to get some sleep. I already was up last night. So Trosco is like thinking, what is the switch in here? I mean, doesn't he go Lottie here? Because I think this is locked into Earthquake. At first, I wasn't sure if it was locked in, but I'm pretty sure it is now. There's a suspect too going on at two SPL games at the same time. Good God, Smoke is wild on Sunday. I mean, I'm happy that I got my Rex already, so yeah. I mean, I could still join the tour for fun, but not now when I'm recording, obviously. I mean, I could record the tour, but I would rather record these SPL matches for you guys. Because I know a lot of you enjoy or appreciate this content. The trust goes thinking really hard. I don't know. I think Lottie is a fun play. Oh, we're hard on the Crawdon. That's questionable in my opinion, because you just took that huge hit. I don't I don't understand that play. Like I think Lottie was fine there. What happened here? He um Oh really nice player getting up rocks when he was put plus two. And um this is why I hit Scum Read so passive. You have to rely on counter to hit uh, Landris. It's that's why I sometimes like Toxic on Skarmory to hit like Double Dance Landers and then you can check it with Underwear Cliff in the back if you were a max defense or near max defense but if it's Adamant Lander it still has a shit load but yeah you can start it out obviously if you Toxic it so he just switched out because he doesn't want to sack his Lando, that makes sense if this is Spikes Ninja this is pretty good for him because like the Thorns only switching his Chansey Chansey kind of walls like all Greninjas. Unless like Max, unless like Ban and Low Kick, which is not a thing. I mean, he could also go Sableye if he really predicts to go for a spike here, but he would have to take rocks at. I don't think he goes Sableye here. So, did he just predict the Pharaoh? Oh, he predicted the Pharaoh and for SD. That was a really hard play. And he just kills the Pharaoh and knockoff. So, that, that hard play makes up for letting the. Chrono take all that damage, I guess. I'm still not sure how much I agree with letting the Chrono take that huge hit since the Chrono is such a big threat, but I guess it all worked out in the end. Chrono dies to rocks, I guess you can try to defog. Um, Stormy just scores since the Chrono is such a big threat, he couldn't like afford to spin on that turn. Just dropping a Drake on that Clef. So what is he going out into? Like he doesn't have good switch ins. How either Moonblast or T Wave here. T Wave is like a really good play because Jirachi is obvious. He didn't do it. I don't know if he has T Wave obviously, but if he has, that would have been a good option there. I mean, yeah, it's just gummy to click it. Like, I mean, T Wave is a good move on <laughs> Cliff Able, especially in RS when it's one hundred percent accurate and when it's he gets the spin off. It's 100% accurate at RS at its like lowest the speed a lot more than it does in Sun and Moon. What happened here? He breaked the chance, he doubled out into Landris. But he went into Pax as a mid ground play. But I mean, Pax lives at Earthquake, but he's tried to skull, but uh, Pax lives at Earthquake, but it's still not a good answer to Landris. So if he uh, SDs again here on Discovery, he doesn't have to SD again. I think. Nah, if he has these again here on a Skarmory, I think it's pretty much over if he goes for Z-Move next turn. I mean, it's not over, but he gets a kill. Because with Sturdy Broken, the Skarmory cannot, like, take a... It can take a... I think it might be able to take a plus 2 Continental Crush Belly at 88. Like, pretty, pretty, like, live on a sliver of health, but... Plus 4, no way it lives there. I don't think it does. So let me just check what's going on there. Trosco with GTM game. Probably just a Vault Switch coming out again. This GTM keeps going into um, Nando. And Trosco said, I've had enough. 
you're going into Orlando all the time, clicking HBIs. Now he just vaults out on his Zardex, which is pretty obvious that it's Zardex. No Pursuit Tripper. And always, you always needed a Pursuit Tripper, in my opinion, most of the time anyways, to support to support ZY for the laddies. He did it again, predicting the chomper. Stop this, man. Holy shit. Trusco predicted the flabbits. They wanted to give him all the recoil, and he just predicted that. Um, this might barely level flabbit. But yeah, GTM can switch out in the cliff here. But yeah, Tr Trosco is overall in a nice position. Um, played really nice early versus the Ferrothorn with the SD play on the switch. Just sex off the. Wait, okay, it just gets off another intimidate, okay, makes sense, I guess. But I I, I don't know. Maybe if it's Adamant Zard, it would have killed the, the lander at 52 with a Flubbleth. Yeah, probably, yeah, probably. He didn't. I forgot that he didn't have an intimidate on this. Because usually you bring Landers in and Zardis at minus one, but he would have been at neutral. Yeah, my bad, my bad, guys. Flubbleth probably would have killed at 52. So what happened here is Deed. Uh, Clefable takes a lot from this, it's unaware, but. SD on a protect, stop this man. And there's the Zemo and the Clef is dead. Yeah, I think Destiny might have a pretty good chance at winning this, which is really nice to see. He just defogs there. Wow, if he stone edged that turn, he would have gotten another kill, like a 2 hit KO. But he, I really get, like, I get Destiny's device play, obviously. He doesn't want to just throw his landers away. It's really nice to pressure out Sableye with SD so he can get a Brox later on again, potentially. I mean, Trosco obviously just clicks off quick here. The GTM has no immunity to that. I don't know why Trosco's time is going down. Like, he doesn't much to think about, right? Or is he thinking about going for rocks, potentially? I, I don't think that would be an option. I think you have to off quick. Or maybe th considering to use your out on the potential clef. Not sure. As it is, oh, I don't know. Like, did he did he expect the Thorn to bring stall? Cause SD Lando, SD Marek, which are like two mons that are like really good at breaking stall, kind of. Like, if it has Flubbits, it breaks chance. If it doesn't have the things with Flubbits, you take all the recoil. So I think it's probably Fire Punch. Actually, a plus two chance he doesn't even wall this. The only the only Marek that Chansey walls is the one that runs Fire Punch, Shadow Bones, Stealth Rock. And what was in the last slot again? Will O Wisp? I, I forgot what in the last slot. Earthquake, Earthquake, uh, Bone Moringa, Earthquake. The three attacks one with rocks is the one that Chansey walls, but this SD one is obviously not walled. Okay, that is five million, that's pro that's I don't max attack, right? I really run Boomerang, I don't, I don't like Boomerang, you can miss and stuff. That boy just got blown away, holy shit. So... Wait, that's still killed? Was it not Max Defense Lando? So the Zard just swept. So I thought for some reason that... What? I thought for some reason that he could eat it. But yeah, let us watch what happened. Did he pursue this? He did pursue this nice play. I don't know why the chat is going insane. He's running pursuit lol. Like pursuit on Doug is pretty standard for Marek in my opinion. Like I used to run it when no when no Dougie had it. Like I don't want to like brag or anything, but I mean I'm not even proud of that shit. Like it's just a stupid stall team. I just use it to get Rex um on the which test was it? The Genesec test I used this team, which is scummy. And the last test I only do stall for like 10 games. And the rest I use like balance bulky offense. Um, what was it again? Yeah, at the end game was a nice Kartana team with Protein Greninja. So he has deed on the incoming Skarmory. And he switched out predicting a card because he didn't want to lose his um, roost. Um, he didn't want to lose his land on a potential counter. Roost is a fine play overall just to get back to sturdy. In case the lander is deed again, you can take every hit and then counter. But this is like the thing with Skarmory is you have to rely on your opponent attacking if you only have counter. 
Skarmory is just way too passive. Like, ah, uh. like Skarmory would need like six or seven move slots to be really good. Like, you need Rowan kind of to force out setup sweepers, because then the spikes would be really good with Rowan support. But you kind of need counter to check some things. You need Defog and Roost obviously on store, and like unless you have another Defog like Zapdos, but that's hard to fit on. And it also kind of like if it also could have Toxic and another attacking move would also be nice. But yeah, Pokemon obviously only gives you four move slots, not six or seven. So I don't know why I'm talking about that. Nice play, going good ninja there. You went hard, Dougie, because he had a sash. I assume, yeah, obviously he had a sash. I don't know why I said I assume. Um, no, nah, never mind. I don't know why I thought um, Trosco's Landers could live a. Could live a hit by the way. It's obviously um it's obviously offensive landers, I think Scarf or and after 2D Zard outspeed the Like it's some sort of offensive lander, I don't remember if it was Scarf. But uh, the chomp was obviously the bulky thing that had rocks or a Jirachi. But it got revealed during the game what used rocks. Use stealth. The opposing Feral used stealth or Garchomp, yeah Garchomp was the rocker. So yeah, I, I don't know why I thought it was fat lander could live a hit. So GTM <coughs> just won with his I don't know why he keeps going packs when he Oh Chansey already died, never mind my bad guys. <coughs> I thought he had still had a chance. Yeah, I thought forgot that he got blown back by the Merrick. So this is pretty much in Destiny Device's favor, like the stall team is getting blown out the wind, holy shit. Like I don't know what if Destiny Wise was expecting some like balance from the Thorn or if he was expecting stall, but he really has all the all the tools to break stall and he played it really well. But yeah, I don't know why he said this in the beginning that I wanted to play some general games when I signed up. Because Ooh, nice play going Saber on the spikes. The Thorn has to try everything he can do to somehow come back. Um I think Sable takes like 60-ish from a pump, but I don't know the calc. Like Sable runs a lot of speed death in Thunder Moon. Yeah, I mean, I would do like, um, let me know in the comments if you want me to do a coverage on a Suspect Tour. Um, not, not the Suspect Tour, obviously, but in general in the future. <clears throat> I did it in the past, when I had like a little subs only, but... Back in the day, I used OBS and I was rendering at the same time, and my recording got like completely ruined. Let me see if there's anyone in call, by the way. I don't think there is. So. <clears throat> You just had. I guess the song might just go back to pack. So I think he's. Uh, he he might go for protect. I would consider spiking here if I'm destiny device, but it's a bit risky because he could technically stay in. I mean, if the thorn over safest play is going into. Into toxic packs, and he. Destiny device makes the right play. You can say predicting him to stay in, but. The Sable that beats this 1v1 is just really, really spit death. I thought Hyperpump would do more than 51. Maybe the Squid Ninja is not max special attack, or the Sable is just really spit death. <clears throat> so now he's going for the Gunshot Poison. I mean, he, and he gets it. Wow, okay, nice. I mean, Marowak is still a huge threat. The Ducky still has its session attack, though, but. Destiny Device still has some tools, he still has his SD Landris to weaken Skarmory and then he can pretty much run through the 6 with Metagross later on if Dagi loses the Sash <coughs> and if Sable is weakened. I mean Sable doesn't beat um, Metagross unless it's at 100% and gets the Willow Wisp off. Yeah, the Hyrule did nothing without Life Orb now. But he's just stalling the sail out of recover, I get it, it makes sense. So yeah, I pray that there's not gonna be more games. Two I don't wanna do two more than two battles in one video. I 
it's already a bit irritating to switch between two battles <clears throat> yeah just wasting some like he used HP fire there just to waste the recover too since he got that lucky poison I mean now he missed the pump I guess it's annoying but <coughs> the server is spamming recovery so we want out of recover eventually the thing is the scringer doesn't have a move to hit it soon anymore I guess in power still Hell pump on a one more okay I really don't see how the song can win this though with the combination of Landris and Merrick and Metagross in the back. I guess by dodging every move he has a chance maybe. <laughs> I mean <coughs> I missed in Mala since he went for a recover there anyway, I would have like recovered off every damage. So now the ninja gets picked off. Max attack Lando can come in now, but that would be 50-50. I think Merrick would be a f actually Merrick is really low. If Marowak kills the Sable, he will get pursued by the Dougie after. Oh, so maybe that's not the play. What's the play here? Sable, uh, Metagross could be the play and then... I actually don't know what the red play is here. Like Metagross and try to get a boost on Skarmory could be a play. Just weaken Skarmory so Landris can win, but... It's a bit rough. If you don't get the boost then. Yeah, I think this is an okay play, but you will get pursued after, obviously. You get one kill maximum here. Oh, it's a shadow bone. I'm not sure if uh, like Toxapex would lift shadow bone into Earthquake. I think it will not lift that, because Namorak is really strong. Merak is really, really strong, yeah. So the thorn is the one thinking, I don't know, like, I think he has to sack his Sableye like, here, I don't see what else he can sack. Toxapex is necessary unless he gets, wants to get destroyed by Faramosa. We don't know the Faramosa set, if it's physical scum we can check it. But most Faramosa these days are special. Oh, he just, oh, actually, hard, going hard doggy makes sense. No burn, okay. Going hard doggy makes sense, I didn't think about that option since he has the sash yet. So he, he can save the sable I pursue the doggy here, yeah. Too bad the Merrick didn't have Shadow Sneak. I mean he it doesn't have space for that and the move in the move pool. Learn Merrick. Shadow Sneak. I think it can learn Shadow Sneak. I saw I was like thinking about the belly drum. Oh it cannot learn my bad guys. So it could learn Shadow Sneak. <laughs> I was thinking about when before Sun Moon came out, how was a Shadow Sneak Belly Drum Merrick and I was kiking at a plus six. Okay, so it's physical Pheromosa. So we can also check it with not only Pex plus also with Scarm. But Scarm would get overwhelmed if it has to check everything. I mean Destiny Vice still has a shard but Like you just have to hope that you don't get burned here. And I think you have to go for SD. If he gets burned here, yeah, I guess the sun wins. Oh, he just went hot scum. Oh, he just earthquaked. So I think he had to SD there. What is beating Skarm now? I mean, he SDs up, he weakens this. And then he just has to get like a race with. But yeah, it's true, the sun can actually, the sun can actually win now. This turn from what I thought would be an easy one for Destiny Wise. I, I say these things a lot, but I really don't know how this turned around. I mean, the Destiny Wise still has some chances. If he has D, they would have been in a decent position because next turn he could have SD'd again. And then the Scoundrel would have been super low to an edge, and Metagross would have just came in and destroyed everything. Yeah. Yeah, I think getting works up is nice too. But yeah, Sting would have. I think Sting was still the better play there. The rocks are just nice, so the doggy dies, I guess. Yeah, the rocks are really nice, so the doggy dies. So if he wants to keep his doggy, he has to default the spikes away. 
Which he does, okay, so that was what Destiny Wise was trying to accomplish. They're getting rid of the spikes on his side. And he can now fire off potential HP fire. I'm really tempted to eat, but I don't want to eat in my video, but I'm like so hungry, holy crap. This is interesting to watch. Um, this is not like it's not the, the most like exciting game, but it's still somewhat interesting to see if this device is able to break the stall team and just in general to learn if you want to learn how to break stall and if he does it successfully you can like look at this replay and oh not replay it's live double down to landers I mean Toxapex live one off quick though you can always burn fish here I'm not 100% sure what the right play is but Burnfish seems like a decent play here. Uh, okay, he goes for Africa this time, and yeah, he burnfishes. If he if he got that burn, I think it would have been over. And um, now you SD here. Now you you go for rocks or you SD here if you destiny device. There's no way he sex toxic packs. Yeah, he goes for rocks. That works too. Um, now you can SD. But the thing is, it doesn't help you. Yeah, like. He he would have like he needs two SDs up to win this gunnery, so that is enraged to die for Metagross Thunder Punch. But maybe his Metagross doesn't have Thunder Punch, because he already has um, Marowak and Greninja to deal with gunnery, but those both died. I don't know. I think Metagross needs Thunder Punch in this meta. <clears throat> maybe his Hammer Arm on his Metagross that would make some sense. But, mm. Like I, I didn't calc, but I, w I was obviously calc how much plus stonage, plus four stonage it does, and then try to get up two SDs and bring this, cause like see if you bring the scumry low, right? The plus four stonage to maybe this range, and you can kill if you can revenge with um, Metagross from that range. Um, like I guess then you get revenged. No, you don't get revenged by Dagi. Metagross lives in Earthquake. If Metagross at full, yeah. So if you can kill, pick this off not then after with Metagross. Metagross kind of just wins. Mesh kills the Sableye from 52. The um, Toxapex um, takes one hit from Metagross, but he would have to rely on Scorpion to beat it. And Dougie only does like 75 or so with Earthquake to Metagross. I don't remember the calc. Something with 70, I think. So maybe he doesn't have then um, Thunder Punch then the way he's playing it. Not really sure. So that's just doubling around, but the Toxic Packs just got back to full. So the Earthquake damage the Destiny device earlier got on the packs didn't really help him. Since the packs got switched out again, got that region back. That's why I thought SDing maybe was the better play on the packs earlier. And then you could SD on a scum again, like just as, like, just like I said to weaken this into Metagross range. But he will obviously have his reasoning as to why he's making these plays. I don't know his Metagross set, obviously. So it's left or was Toxapex or Black Sludge, okay. I guess it's the same item, but I don't really see a reason to run. Leftovers over Black Sludge, because when you get tricked, Black Sludge gives the opponent like residual, but it's basically the same thing, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. So this recording is gonna take a while. Oh yeah, I'm recording. Let me see if I can get anyone to join. They asked me if there are more games. Oh, so you got up a T spike on a Gigadrain. This T spike is gonna be annoying, if, but it only hits the Tangrowth and the the Fermos, So it's not it's not that bad for it. It's not that bad for Destiny, you guys. Honestly. I really don't. No. I really don't think his Metagross has Thunder Punch. The way he, the way he's playing this, I don't think he has Thunder Punch. Like he would, he would just win if he SDs twice with Landris on his Skarm, and then he weakens the Skarmory so Metagross can sweep. But for some reason, he doesn't do that. So this just makes me think that he doesn't have Thunder Punch. I have been saying this for four times now, but I just wanted to say for you again. <laughs> so I mean, this what do we learn? What, what what do we learn off of this? Is that um, Stall is fucking broke. Dude, dude, it's not. If he has these again, he just wins if he has Thunder Punch. 
Why is he not STing again? Dude, he does not have Thunder Punch. Okay, okay, chill. But if he SDs, wait, if he if he gets to plus four, uh, plus six, Stone Age brings it in range to die from Metagross. He doesn't have Stone Age. He doesn't have Stone Age. He's fly. Oh, he's, he's he fly. If he was, if he was, if he was Rock M Z, he won. Oh, when he's when flying. the Z move happened, I didn't I see which Z move it was because I was switching between two games. I was recording Trosco versus it's, GTM. It was super. It was super Sonic. Yeah, yeah, now I see it. Now I scrolled over the Lando. I thought it had edged the entire time. That was my fault. My video is gonna get some juicy dislikes. I was talking about a few minutes. Yeah, just SD, just stone it. Yeah, yeah, just weaken this for Metagross. Easy win. I mean. He had Meryl Rank, which. <sighs> this, game, this game is over. I, I already told in, in the Skype chat. Skarm solos. Yeah, but. Oh, this game is so disappointing. Like, I was. In my mind, he just went with Metagross, but I didn't know that. Oh my god, get played. Oh my god, that hurt. That hurt. Okay, I'm s yeah, I'm sorry. I guess I'm gonna get 20 dislikes on this one. I fucked up. I mean, the Trosco was GTM one. I thought he was defensive Lando at the end, but he's obviously Scarf Lando. <laughs> For some reason, I'm like messing up. Dude, I haven't eaten today. I cannot think. Just give me a break after this, you stupid game spamming kids. <laughs> okay, I didn't say that. I'm getting mad. Just, just get something to eat and then uh, make make a video while while you eat, right? Hello? Yeah, exactly. Are you kidding me? Just, 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 and 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 tell tell them what, what you eat, like ju juicy spaghetti, and then and then like slurp it up. Dude, that like, sounds <laughs> that's disgusting. I cannot do that. Huh? People will that people will unsub if I eat in my video. Yeah, reverse will like kill here. Be like, it's gonna be go like a, be like a real CTC. Be like a real CTC and no. some red shit. Oh, while in call. It's like PK or how that guy's called that always like makes this weird slurp noises. Does Pursuit like uh, kill if he does not switch here? I don't think uh, so. Nah, no, Dougie's weak. He's gonna go for the reverse. No, the sheep pursuit might Pursuit's kill, kill. it get an attack boost. Two kills. Oh yeah, 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 it's 100 base attack, yeah, right? Mm, yeah, it kills. Okay, he goes for the reverse, reversal and he does. Um, yeah, so I was like... I was like... Yeah, what's the Met Mega Metagross set then? Uh, I assume it's like hammer on. Pursuit, earthquake, meteor mash. Oh. I assume it doesn't have T punch. Ice punch. BP. I don't know. I don't think it has BP either. The way he's playing it. Um. No, he, he misses. He misses prior. That's the thing. BP Metagross can I, still win this. I mean. Can't. It can't. I was like talking the like the uh, the whole time that Destiny has an easy win, but I didn't see that. I didn't see that he doesn't have Stone Ash. Okay. Oh. I have been most clean. Like, Metagross can still win if he gets a boost. And if he has a Zenhead, but he can flinch the Skarm, but I don't... No, 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 no. The only, the only way, Dude. the only way, Des uh, the only way Destiny Device wins is if he freezes Skarm. That's the only way I mean, way gets yeah, I don't know yeah. if you have ever used Metagross, right. but this thing can get flinches and freeze and attack raises. Boy, boy. <laughs> Flinches don't matter to Scarm. Hello at plus one? Scarm eats them up. You Scarm eats them plus up. Plus one into double flinch? Sweet chaos, maybe. Plus, plus one into double flinch, you know how much that does? Yeah, have six. You, have you ever used Scarm? Do it for it chaos. It doesn't for it KO. I mean, he will uh, uh, he will have something else then, I guess. Doesn't even fucking for it KO with life. I mean, if he has hammer arms, Scarmory will get whittled down too. Uh, yeah, but I think he has Whirlwind to take care of. No, 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 no. Spikes, Defog, Roost, Counter, Defog. Spikes, Counter, Defog, Roost. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Oh, he's, he's going for it, he's going for it. All right. Freeze. Go come for on, it, go freeze. for it. Please, come on, come on. I was just come like... On, Justice. Freeze. Yeah, I don't know Justice. if this is the lack of sleep or if I'm just not come on. paying attention, make, but... Make, make the Thorn salty. Pull, pull up Patlock. I just saw there was fucking Freeze. Stone Edge landers Freeze. the entire time Come and on. they had a free win. Yes, need advice. Pull, pull, pull a Patlock. God, my stomach hurts. Hurry up, dude. Click your fucking button. I need to eat. Come on. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, he can still freeze. Please, Come on. Freeze. Freeze. I mean, he has Freeze. 22 more, right? Ouch. Yeah, no, he has like... Ouch, that hurt. Come on, freeze, 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 freeze. <laughs> There's no freeze. Freeze, freeze like, freeze like my, my fucking laptop. Come on, freeze. <laughs> justice, please. Justice, justice. Okay, freeze. Okay, Come freeze. on, please. Freeze, please, please, please. 
Please, 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 no, not a crit, please. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, Fuck my yeah, life. it's over. Fuck my life. The game is over. HP electric, HP electric. Man, I feel bad. I was narrating the entire time as if this video was one. <laughs> <laughs> is it, is it, is it something? Wait, no, no, no. I just didn't please see please. the Z move because I was just scrolling through it really fast when I was switching between Trosco's game and the Zorn's game. Because there were two games at the I same time. I don't know, high jump kick, okay, bind, high jump kick, attack raise. Nah, it's just hard packs always to play. Packs, something happens. Freeze, my G. I mean, he's got sauce anyway. It doesn't matter even if it's. He's got sauce, but. He, this because he, has card, like, he can misclick. Misclick, misclick, yeah, misclick. What's the fucking use now? <laughs> fucking stupid game. <laughs> Okay, there's the fr yeah, there's the freeze, but skull. But the thing is, like, uh, if he didn't have yeah. oh, if he didn't have pursuit on Dali, uh, the Merrick would have destroyed Bye. him so bad. Fuck stall, dude. Fuck stall. <laughs> if you want to yeah, if you want to win versus Padlab and OSC, you know so what to bring. I'm, I'm I'm going I'm going to like no 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 no. I didn't say for anything. Real, for real, I'm just gonna shit my fucking. Ugh. I, I, I don't even, I, yeah, I have to end the recording. I have to eat. I hope they give me some time to eat. No, no more games. Um, yeah, really disappointing. Boy, f fuck Star, dude. Fuck I was Star. just being fooled. I thought he had edge. He could SD. If, if Star, if Star was a person, if Star was a person, <laughs> I would fucking, I would fucking slit the his, <laughs> its, its throat right, uh, right open, like, and and take and take all all of the, all of the throat out, like, all of all the inner. I mean, uh... of, of the throat. If we weakened the Skarmory with SD Edge, if, if he had that 30, could have won with meta potentially. Yeah, That's, won. That was my game. That was, was I was going off the entire time, but whatever. Thank you guys for I watching. I don't know why you would run. Uh, I, I don't know why, why you would even run Z Fly. But, um, like, I, I don't. Yeah, I mean, he already has Breakers and Marowak, and I'm, I don't know if he didn't expect a Pursuit Doggy. I don't know. Like, I don't know if he even expected Star in general, but. I, I thought he expected stall since he had Marowak plus SD Lander, which usually does really well versus stall. If he had Stone Edge, that is. But he didn't have Stone Edge. Like, yeah, Marowak alone doesn't break stall, but it's like really good to, to like threaten them a bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, I gotta eat now. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Smash that like button. Thanks for my guests for the last few minutes to like. I wouldn't even have found out that it, was, that it didn't have Edge. Until the like last turn when I hovered over it, if they didn't tell me. So Dr. Sunny out, peace friends.